Why don't lawyers want to say how many wins or losses they have, especially in family law? Hey there, my name is Ron Payne. I'm the CEO and managing partner here at Apple Payne Law in Kernersville. And today I wanted to answer a question that we frequently get by folks looking to hire us for their family law cases. We are often asked, how many wins and losses do you have? Unfortunately, in family law, there are not wins and losses, right? If we're fighting over children and we can't agree on custody, it's already a loss. It's a loss all the way around. And secondly, the standard in North Carolina starts at 50-50 custody. So in most cases, when a parent comes to court or comes to an attorney's office and we end up describing to them, hey, custody is usually going to start at 50-50 unless there's drugs, there's alcohol, there's neglect, there's abuse. Um, it's going to pretty much start at around a 50-50 you know, and then they'll they'll go from there as the as the facts may you know incline. But if we have to go to the courthouse, if we can't reach a resolution, every county in North Carolina has mandatory child custody mediation. And what that means is that before your case will ever be heard by a judge, both parents, um, usually without the aid of an attorney, must appear in mediation with a courthouse appointed mediator to discuss the needs of their children and how they can resolve the case. And while a lot of cases don't resolve in mediation, our goal is that that conversation between you and the mediator sets you and your ex-spouse up for a successful resolution of a custody case. The best resolution in any custody case is one where both parents, through counsel, without counsel, whichever, can sit down usually with counsel is better, right, and agree on essential terms of custody between the parents. That means who's going to have which child or children when, what are the terms of summer vacation, who gets first priority in some years and who gets other, who gets who at the holidays, who gets who on birthdays, or how are those going to be handled, how are out-of-state trips handled, all of those kind of considerations. We'll make that a separate video. But if you can work out all of those details yourself, that is going to be a hundred times better than having a judge who's a stranger to you and even more a stranger to your children listen to you for, say, three to six hours and because they're going to hear you for half of that time and they're going to hear your spouse or your ex-spouse or the baby daddy or whatever. They're going to hear them for half of the time and then they're going to give each of it the due weight and then without knowing any more, they're going to decide custody for the next several years of your children's lives. To say that again, five, six hours of testimony from half from each of you, and they're going to decide what your children's custody and day-to-day -day schedule is for the next several years. That is far from an optimal outcome. And the judges will flat out tell you the best custody resolution is the one you guys reach out here in the hall. Matter of fact, Alamance County is one of the counties we appear in regularly. And the judge kicks every single party out before their hearing starts, regardless of whether they've mediated or not, and says, I want you to go out there for 30 more minutes, an hour, and I want you to try one more time before you make me pick a side in this case, because I assure you neither one of you are going to be happy. So, long answer to a short question. That's the reason we don't want to tell people our wins and losses. First off, there is no win if we have to go to court. Now, that being said, we are experienced at what we do, and we have gone to court, and we have had successful outcomes for parents. You know, if you go to court and you have to fight to keep the children away because the other parent has substance abuse issues, is unstable, etc., even if we get you primary custody, it's not really a win because in winning, we've excluded a parent from their children. And that's not something we feel good about, even if it is the best outcome and it's what's best for your children. Right, Because we want the children, most importantly, to be safe, cared for, and loved. So even though we've won and we've definitely done right by the children and we've had great outcomes in court, it never feels like a win. Because the, parent, the children are also going to have to discuss with that parent later why they didn't get to see them at that age. Because when it's all said and done, when the kids are grown up, Right, and there is no more custody because they're adults and they have kids of their own, they're going to have hard questions to ask. That's why we don't tell about what the win or the loss is because it's not really about winning or losing. It's about what's doing best under the circumstances for each individual family in court. It's not a go to court and you just get up there and tell your piece and the judge goes, congratulations, you win. You know, if you're doing criminal justice, you're either guilty, you lost, 
or you're not guilty, congratulations, you won. And family law is just not like that, and that's why we don't want to give out, you know, a, a we won or we lost metric. It's just not tracked that way. And if you've got a family lawyer who tells you we win all the time in court, I'd stay away because a win at all costs lawyer means they're probably not going to be putting your kids first. Here at Apple Pain Law, we put families first. That's our first core value is that families come first. And our motto, our goal at Apple Pain Law is to help families navigate life's important decisions. And as I like to say, there is no more important decision than about helping make sure your children are safe. If you'd like to set up a chat with us, you can reach us on the web at applepainlaw.com or you can give us a call at 336-281-6928. I hope this video has been helpful. Like and subscribe here on YouTube for helpful and friendly legal content. And until next time, have a great day.